my garlic is growing just fine. Day four of sobriety. I'll make this short and sweet because nothing's really going on today. Some things I've noticed since I've stopped drinking alcohol. I have a craving for sweets. And normally I fucking hate sugar, so that's uh, it's new for me. I'm just trying to stay away from it because I don't want to just replace one thing with something else that's just going to keep weight on. I'm trying to lose some weight as well. I do feel a clarity of mind. My, my brain is kind of clearing up from the wet fog of alcoholism. What I'm waiting for now is the seven to 10 day mark. This is the period of time where the actual cravings for alcohol go away. Not the physical dependency on it, but uh, this is just what I'm reading. The people online are saying, this is like where you're, you're not like actively just going, oh God, oh, I really want a shot. Like, like habitually needing a shot because it kind of fully gets out of your system. That would be nice because that's not very fun right now. Uh, I pee a lot. I've been peeing a lot more and every single time I do pee, it's been clear. A lot of the symptoms that people said that you would be experiencing from lack of alcohol, like sweating, shaky hands, things like that, that is something I would experience commonly when I was drinking. If I was just drinking every day, I would normally be sweaty at night and the, the next morning I would have shaky hands, like an immediate withdrawal. I don't know what it was about this last time, but it just all went away almost immediately after I stopped drinking. It's very strange. Well, that's just about it. It's day five. I imagine that I would have uh, lost some weight, but let's see. What? I stood on the scale and saw that I had gained four pounds from quitting drinking. Now, I'm not really sure why. It's not really like I've been eating a lot more, but I think uh, my AC just kicked on, sorry. Uh, I think it's because I'm retaining water. So I, I probably just need to piss it all out. Anyway, it's time to work out. It's the first time I've been in my house alone. Well, since about three days before I even started 30 days sober. It'd be so easy to just pour myself just one drink. Just enough to get the taste. Just enough to get one little sip. It smells so good. Your time will come. It's not today. Everyone's in my house. <laughs> I just woke up. Do you wanna you wanna say anything for your final day here? Did oh, you enjoy fun. yourself? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Okay, that works. My dog is a fucking coward. I mean, I'd love to have like a pit bull that would fucking that would be willing to attack. No, I think I think a pit bull mixed with a shepherd would be nice. Yeah, like a strong, smarter dog. I mean, right, it might not be that smart. But so God, if you have a, a strong and smart dog, it might just like make you the pet. <laughs> What's up, motherfucker? Nah, d you sit. <laughs> I guess let me know if for some reason you missed your flight. Yeah. Alright, later. Alright, take it easy. Talk to you later. We gotta record. Yeah. Yeah. Later, man. Thanks. Alright, take it easy. I just dropped reactor off at the airport. I'm on day six of sobriety. And pretty much every single day, there's been people at my house. Probably tonight would be the first night that I'll be completely alone. I, I think it'll probably maybe be easier to kind of fight the cravings when I'm completely alone because I tend to associate drinking with, with socializing. So if I'm not having to socialize at all, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think it'll be easier to like, not feel the cravings to drink. I guess I'll talk about my first drink when I started drinking. Well, my first actual time drinking alcohol, I was 15 years old and I went to a buddy of mine's house. He was having his 16th birthday party. And um, I was with my another friend of mine who was 
a year younger than me and we were like kind of nervous because we were going to a drinking party and the kid's mom was there and she made everyone take a shot so that was it we just all took a shot and I remember taking that first shot thinking it was disgusting wanting to puke and the next thing I know uh, I'm getting punched in the face with boxing gloves and I had boxing gloves on my hands and I was boxing my friend Sebastian who was a giant German guy so I don't know how I got from point A to point B but uh, it was fun and I found that I really enjoyed it. I liked, you know, fucking around and just getting loopy with friends. So we used to shoulder tap at gas stations. So going up to, um, you know, random people, tapping them on the shoulder and seeing if we could give them money to go in and buy us a beer. And a few people stole our money. Uh, sometimes we got the beer. So I used to throw regular parties at my house. And I really enjoyed kind of being the host of parties because it gave me a sense of clout. So I'd invite kids from high school over on the weekends and we'd party in a shed in my backyard. And that used to be about, you know, maybe once a month and then that became like once every two weeks. And then it was like once, it was like every weekend we were we were drinking and partying. And uh, that routine kind of carried me into my 20s. And then when I turned 21, Oh boy, it was all downhill from there. Not that crazy of a story. It's been six and a half days since my last drink. And in my sober clarity, I was thinking, hair is, hair is obsolete. Hair is just impure. The dead follicles of your sins, the dead follicles of all your wrongdoings and they, they they come from within inside your body where all of these these incorrect actions manifest and then they try to purge themselves out of your scalp hair is the purge the body exiling all of your impurities and misdoings and therefore hair itself is an un unclean thing this hair has to go it's time to purify, once and for all. I've never felt so much mental clarity in my life. Goodbye, impurities. Goodbye, alcohol. Goodbye, addiction. How do I look? Good so far? Am I making good decisions? Something that I've been thinking about a lot that I think is very true in my heart, but if you look sober, if you act sober, if you make every other aspect in your life sober, becoming sober and staying sober will be so much easier. You have to look the part. You have to look like someone who isn't a crazy alcoholic. Now, originally I said I was gonna stop smoking as well, um, but to be honest, I've actually cut down on smoking a lot just from stopping drinking. I used to joke a lot that I only smoke when I drink, and so I would have a drink whenever I wanted to have a cigarette. But, uh, they really do go hand in hand. You know, people tend to, like, clump their habits together. Eating poorly with drinking, smoking with drinking. So if you're going to cut one out entirely, you might as well try and cut the others out. It'll be a lot easier to do it in bulk, I think. Cut it all out if you can. Cut it all out. You know, I didn't cut my hair short enough. I think this is the one opportunity that I can get away with going completely bald. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Bald rusty it is. Think about it. Every new hair that grows out of my head will be a hair of sobriety. Was this a mistake? Nothing but good decisions from here on out. God damn, I hope this grows back. Uh, looking good so far. Well, I'm just taking a quick break, but so far I think it's going good. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling like the new me. 
This is the new sober me. A lot of you are too afraid to make these big changes in your life. But here's the thing, you have to commit. I know you have the strength within you to, to commit to these big changes. And if you don't do it now, you never will. It's not a mistake. The only mistake is procrastination. Your enemies aren't sleeping, are you? Don't let them catch you by surprise. You're the strong one. This is your month to shine. I've never felt more liberated in my entire life. This is weird. I've uh, never shaved my head before. I wasn't really sure what my head would even look like, but I think I just look like a pedophile, especially with these glasses. Well, let me close out this week because this is the end of the seventh day and end of the first week, and I'll just give you my thoughts. So I got through the first three days uh, without any major withdrawals, which was awesome. I'm glad I didn't you know, suffer from a lot of the stuff that a lot of other people withdrawing from alcoholics suffer from. And while I still greatly do feel the craving to, uh, to drink, it's starting to dwindle. I'm starting to wake up and not feel like this is gonna be such an agonizing thing. I mean, we're one week down. For me, I have three more weeks until I meet my, uh, my 30 days of sobriety. And who knows, I might keep going from there. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get to the point now where the cravings are slowly gonna start going away, I hope. And last night was the first night that I actually spent by myself without people over. And honestly, I just relaxed. I just played video games. I, I got caught up in something kind of mindless and that allowed the time to pass. Now, again, I am finding myself feeling the urge to eat a lot more, uh, which I'm gonna have to curb that, especially sweets, which I never really cared for before. But my body's wanting to replace the sugar that it's missing from metabolizing uh, liquor. So for everyone out there doing this along with me, uh, keep, keep strong, keep up the faith, and it's only gonna start getting easier from here. So stay away from that bottle. <laughs> These next three weeks, it's gonna be really long. It feels like it's been two weeks. It hasn't, it's been one week. And I still do wanna drink, but it's getting easier each day not to. Thanks for watching. Not to keep ending the vlogs like this, but for real, I was just sitting on my couch uh, bullshitting on Twitter and I was like telling him, I was talking to myself in my head saying, well, you made it one week. You can take, you can just take one shot. Just take one shot to reward yourself. And then you can just continue being sober for the, the rest of the 30 days. And I kind of have to film this in a way to tell myself not to do it. Because I realize if I take that one shot, just to reward myself for one week of sobriety, then I might tomorrow say, well, you can just take one shot tonight. And then I'll, I might be taking a shot every night, just one. And then that's it's quickly just gonna, gonna go back to uh, just slipping right back into drinking. Anyways, that's what happened. I didn't do it though.